Hi, my name is Kylie from America's Got Talent, and here on our America's Got Talent stage, we have the perfect stage because it has certain textures and shapes that direct sound at the audience. Breaking news. A car accident has occurred, and the fatality of a 12-year-old girl has happened. We go to the scene now. You know, car mufflers on cars and trucks reduce engine noise. This keeps them from being loud, which relates to our topic, intensity and loudness. As time and distance increase, the sound waves get weaker! Don't you just hate it when an airplane takes off and you have nothing to cover your hearing ears? Well, not anymore. I've come here to sell you hearing decibel earplugs. Why do we need the phone? You see, you always have them. Well, unless something bites it off. Here, to show you how great it is, Katie! It's amazing, and only for $19.95. I really loved it, and you can also ward off mosquitoes with it. <laughs> Don't get this product, it's awful! Shut up! Who let her on? Anyways, if you call in the first 20 minutes, we'll also throw in our premium decibel. <laughs> so you might be wondering when you might be able to use this awesome product slash decibel your parts. Well, here's some tips. When you mow your lawn. When you go to the NASCAR race. Vroom, vroom. When you're at a rock concert. That's a great time. Um, when you, the airplane takes off, you don't want your ears popping, or when a firecrack hits, bang, bang. Inside your ear are little cells called hair cells. These cells are incredibly sensitive and easy to damage. Continual exposure to sounds above 90 decibels will destroy these cells. Furthermore, exposure to sound above 130 decibels for a few seconds will destroy your hair cells. 140 decibels or more is seriously painful. If intense sound has already damaged your hearing, you should get decibel hearing aids. What? Decibel hearing aids! Okay. I know you're wondering why I have these words here, but I'm going to talk about how they're related. You see, when a drummer hits a drum, say, with the drumstick, it hits the skip, right? Yeah. Well, it, that, it, it makes it go up and down. That's the amplitude of the drum. The deeper the amplitude is, the gr more energy or intensity that sound has. That makes the decibels go up. Yeah. Um, the decibels are a way of measuring exactly how intense the actual drum sound is. So as you see, they really are quite intertwined. Amplifiers make speakers louder. Get your amplifier today. Make your speakers louder with amplifiers. Ah! Yeah! Woo! Amplifier. Chapter 1, Amplification. What's amplification? It increases the sound signal of something. When in an acoustics hall, what's acoustics? The study of sound. The sound can be very loud and damage your ears. Oh, children, we need to go. Hello, America. I am President Smith, and this is an announcement on the new law about glass. You see, tapping an ordinary wine glass makes it vibrate at its natural frequency. If you play the same frequency at the glass, the amplitude of the glass's vibration leads to the amplitude of the sound wave. Both amplitudes come together and get stronger. This is resonance. Resonance also means that if you produce the correct frequency, any nearby object at the same natural frequency will vibrate. The vibration becomes stronger as resonance continues, and if the frequency you make has an intensity of 100 decibels or more, the vibration causes the glass to shatter. This is dangerous. 
Therefore, there is now a law. The law is, you may only play the natural frequency of a glass at above 100 decibels. Wait, above? Who wrote this? The last break episode is our first real first real type of stress. Going through that episode, everyone's heard the myth of an opera singer who shadow glass with their voice and leave up with them to go to the hospital. But a recent study turned it over and showed that it was maybe not possible, that nobody would ever film it, but he did it. That there were films of a speaker doing it, but never someone solely with their voice. Okay. And when it turned out that it was a heavy metal singer that had okay. the power to shatter the glass. Honestly, it is one of my all time favorite high speed shots. Watching the glass vibrate back and forth and watching his voice, watching the glass shatter catastrophically as the thing totally fails. About six years later, pulling his lips away from the shattering glass, showing the real difference between action and reaction that happens when you slow things down. It doesn't get much better than that. Yep, they're dead. We done? Or do we have to do the strip now? So now we have to do a voiceover. Okay. Wait. It's amazing, and only for $19.95. Okay. Because you pushed me. Don't buy this. Oh. Oh. Katie, remember what happened with the table?